On Friday, April 26, the community came together in the pouring rain for a very special ceremony at Friendship Park. Just as the ceremony began, the rain stopped and the sun shone down on those in attendance. Orion Township Supervisor Chris Barnett welcomed those in attendance and introduced dignitary sponsors and volunteers. The group then grabbed shovels and broke ground on the future Miracle League field of North Oakland, a ballpark that will give children with disabilities a chance to play baseball on a barrier-free synthetic field. This is going to change people's lives, more, probably more than anything we've done in our parks like this is. Um, and to see just the faces of the people that have stepped up and that have raised money and put their, put their own money on the line uh, is humbling and it's so cool. And then to hear the reaction of these kids, um, the little guy just said, thanks, thank you for building this for us. You know, how can you not just melt? Because um, they've never had this experience. The project started out as an idea that involved the Lake Orion Wiffle Ball League and has evolved over the past year or so. Since 2017, the DAISY project has gotten involved, as well as Easter Seals and Independence Township, who had planned on building a similar field of their own just down the road. Instead, the two townships have agreed to pool their resources. We heard um, that Independence Township, through uh, lunch with Pat Kittle, the supervisor there, he told me about this field they were dreaming about and talking about building and raising money for, and we realized we were building the same thing. And so uh, we were driving to Lansing the next week, and we got on, and we called our park directors and said, "We need to put our, we need to all sit down and figure this out because we literally they were going to build their park, their field at uh, Clintonville Park, which is literally about a mile and a half on Clarkson Road into Independence, and we're on Clarkson Road here, so." Uh, we realize that we're going to serve the same community, the same special needs community. Uh, we don't need two of these fields. So um, they kind of said, we'll help and we will we'll partner with you. And the money that they had raised so far, we, we basically all threw our money to Easter Seals. And uh, so we're going to be able to serve. We're not calling it in Orion Township. This is a Miracle League field of North Oakland. The goal is to celebrate opening day on June 15th of this year, although that may seem a little ambitious. A similar field was built in Southfield in 2004 that draws children from throughout Michigan. Steve Peck headed up that project and told us what this area can expect when the umpire yells, play ball for the first time. Miracles, that's what they witness. Every game, this is not about disability, this is about ability. When you see a child that couldn't play before come out and hit the ball with the help of a volunteer, it's quite amazing. I call it a win-win-win. It's a win for the player. These players had nowhere to play before. They love it. But it's a win for their family, too, because families had a dream of their child playing baseball. And when the child was born, for some, that dream goes away. So the parents are elated. They're just another typical baseball parent. But finally, the win is for the community. Because our kids can't do it alone, we have volunteers come in. And the volunteers are partnered with the players, and they help get it done. It is truly a miracle. Organizers have raised almost $400,000 and need another $100,000 to complete the project. They're also looking for 400 volunteers to help out during this season. If you would like to donate your time or money, you're encouraged to visit easterseals.com slash Michigan. In Orion Township, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News.